what's up collective how y'all feeling how y'all doing happy thursday everybody we about to get into today's tea message this is a general collective reading welcome back those of you that's returning i appreciate you guys and welcome to be true tarot if you new and you decide to tap in with us for the first time i'm happy to have you guys here with me let's get into these messages this is again a general collective reading meaning i'm picking up on multiple situations multiple storylines multiple energies please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there okay all right y'all let's get into it let's jump right into it um again even though this is titled for thursday the 26th um, whenever you come across it is when it may resonate with you, okay? So even though it's titled for today, the energy is fluid. The message may resonate with you whenever you feel drawn to it, whenever you feel called to watch. All right, sending you guys so much love. I hope you guys are doing well. All right, let's get into these messages. I'm going to pull from the Kippa first, and then we'll clarify everything with the Tarot then probably put some oracles towards the end all right spirit what messages do you have for my beautiful and handsome divine collective at this time what is it that they need to know holy spirit and angels what messages do you have for the collective at this time what's going on with my beautiful and handsome divine collective at this time okay so we have thoughts okay so somebody's in their thoughts we have thoughts here. Somebody's in their thoughts. Uh, collective, somebody here could be staring at your picture, okay? Somebody here could be looking at photos of you, staring at your pictures. Somebody here could be in their thoughts about you and looking at they, looking at your pictures. Um, all right. I'm also getting this energy here that someone is thinking about a child. Someone could be separated from their child. Someone here could also be in poor health. There could also be a child that's in bad health. And if a child is in bad health, it's because somebody was doing some fuck shit that done backfired on them. Um, that's just what I that's just what I'm seeing. That's just what I'm feeling. Somebody here could be thinking about going away or moving yeah somebody could be thinking about going away or moving um there could be a child that's sick in the house that's sick at home somebody here could have also been expecting you to be in bad health collective but you're not you guys could be receiving a message somebody's receiving a message within the community that they're going to be in poverty and somebody here may also have some sort of legal issues that's coming up yeah so somebody here could be receiving a message that they're about to be in some sort of poverty they could also be receiving a message here they could be receiving some sort of documents some sort of legal documentation somebody here may have to appear in court for something this is somebody that was trying to steal something from you guys we have thief in the reverse this is somebody that also thought that they could have been that they was going to be able to be in some sort of courtship they was going to be able to court you or be in some sort of partnership with you in order to get close to you to steal something but now that plan is ruined here because now somebody is um going to court or now they being kicked out of a community or something like that collective whoever you are because you didn't somebody here thought they was going to come into some sort of some sort of sudden wealth due to you passing away but that did not happen we have sudden wealth and coffin in the reverse somebody here thought that you would have been in bad health and they would have received some sort of money but they did it okay because you didn't pass away somebody here definitely thought they was going to receive great fortune it's a masculine energy here somebody here thought they was going to receive great fortune and sudden wealth by being the main male in your life but whoever this person is they are with a karmic this person is stuck with a karmic that's another reason why they can't court you somebody here has legal issues they could be getting kicked out of a situation kicked out of a community kicked out of a group or organization but i also feel like this person can't um really like figure this shit out they can't really 
they can't really figure this shit out. They can't follow through with this plan because they're with somebody that's not held in high honor. They're with a karmic feminine energy, main female in the reverse, high honor in the reverse. And now they're in despair. This person could have actually thought that they was with somebody that was held in high honor, but they realized that they're not. They could be realizing that you're the one held in high honor. And they did all of this to you. They expected you to pass away. Somebody here could have tried to poison somebody here as well. Since somebody some sort of death spells, it didn't work. Um, because they were supposed to make a collection off of you being in poor health and not being here. Uh, you were supposed to fall. You were supposed to have some sort of health issues that was going to take you out. Something here was meant to look like an accident or meant to look like, you know, you just had a... A health scare that really went bad that really went wrong um yeah that's what was supposed to happen yeah that's the truth ace of swords exactly damn so this is some bullshit you know what i'm saying but anytime i get called to um anytime spirit leads me to pull from the kippa nine times out of ten it's some fuck shit <laughs> and it has to do with some sort of money so that's the message today but let's clarify everything with the tarot. Let's see. Spirit, so give me some more messages regarding this information. What else is the collective needs to know at this time? Regarding this energy, regarding this message, Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective at this time? What else is it that they need to know? Let me get three more shuffles, please, and thank you. Whoever this person is that was behind this, that was doing this, is now feeling stuck. Cherry in reverse. Somebody in this situation could also be a cancer. Somebody in this situation could also be having car troubles, car issues. <clears throat> I'm also feeling that too. All right, let's see. Spill the messages do you have for the collective. What is it that they need to know regarding this energy? All right, we got a jumper. It fell right on the floor, face up. So I'll take it. Six of wands. All right, collective. So whoever you are, you have some sort of good news coming towards you. Okay, I feel like you are the victor in this situation. You reached some sort of level of victory. I also feel like it's because you stood up for yourself or you stood your ground in this situation. I also feel like you're in good health. You're in good standing. Mm -hmm. I truly feel that. Yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune here that also fell face up. So Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, that's double positive energy back to back. So there's some sort of good news coming towards you here i also feel like something here is playing out working out in your favor um you have some sort of dharma coming towards you some sort of good karma somebody here knows that they need to just give up whatever the fuck it is that they're doing because it's not working we have the eight of pentacles in the reverse somebody here could be feeling like everything that they're doing is like a waste of time i mean i would say so give me something here on this eight of pentacles in the reverse give me something here on this eight of pentacles in the reverse yeah, and somebody here is unhappy about this nine of cups in the reverse. Somebody here that's attacking y'all could be like gaining a lot of weight at this time. That's what somebody could have been wanting for you. Somebody here could have already been on the heavy side, but I feel like they're getting even heavier or somebody's body is very inflamed. Somebody here is suffering from some sort of inflammation. Somebody here body could become swollen here. Somebody here could have wanted that for you, for you to swell up or for you to gain a lot of weight. But I feel like it's happening to this person. Um, this could be like some sort of beauty spells that's also backfiring on somebody here. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. And I feel like whoever this person is that's suffering from this inflammation has been lying on you guys. This person has definitely been lying on you guys. And now they're worried. I feel like this person is now tormented. Okay? Somebody here is tormented. Somebody here could be having bad dreams. Somebody here could be seeing shit, hearing shit. Somebody here is like hallucinating. Um, this person could have like a really big chest as well. Somebody here could have really big boobs. Okay. Whoever this person is, they're very unhappy. Yeah, they're very unhappy. This person is fighting with a lot of people. They're a liar. This person has been lying on y'all. Somebody here could be an air sign or a Leo. Okay. Yeah, somebody here was working together with a hierophant in the reverse. Somebody here could be a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Leo, a Taurus, a Sagittarius. These people are fucking pissed off. They fed up. Uh, somebody here that was abusing their power in a situation is definitely angry. They're definitely mad. This hybrid front in reverse is pissed off. And I feel like they're pissed off because something is backfiring. They're also pissed off because they're watching 
whoever they're working with uh, go through some sort of karma. But I'm hearing this is just the beginning. This is only the beginning. Um, collective, whoever you are, whatever these people try to make you feel or put you through is mirroring back to them tenfold. So not only are they feeling the energy that they was projecting towards you, it's going to be intensified to some degree. Um, that's what spirit is saying. Yeah. So whoever you are, collective, I just feel like somebody else now that sees what you're going through is like going to try to come in and manipulate you in some way so be mindful of just random people coming towards you or be mindful from you know when it comes to anybody from your past trying to you know pop up back into your life because somebody here is showing up as the queen of cups in the reverse whoever this person is they're very manipulative this person is emotionally manipulative i also feel like they're very emotionally draining this is somebody that may want to come in and act like they um support you or act like they care about you act like they care about your feelings or what it is that you may be going through all right this person could also be working with a masculine energy that's going against you as well collective this masculine energy could actually be putting this queen of cups in the reverse up to like talking to you or trying to um befriend you or be supportive quote unquote um, whoever you are collective, you showing up as the queen of pentacles. I feel like some of you are doing really well financially or you about to be. There's some sort of abundance that's coming towards you. You could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, or you could have shown earth in your chart, but you are showing up as the queen of pentacles. All right. And I feel like there's a queen of wands in the reverse that's very jealous. Somebody here attacked you and did magic on you because they're jealous of you. Plain and simple. There's a king of cups in the reverse that's jealous of you. And there's also a queen of wands in the reverse that's jealous of you. This can even be a couple. This is These are two losers here. Like, this is the best way that I could describe it. Two fucking losers here that's jealous of you. That was that literally made you a target of theirs. They wanted you to be their victim. They wanted to steal from you. They wanted to steal energy from you. They also wanted to take some sort of money from you as well or something like that. Or they was promised something. They was promised um, a return on their investments. They not getting it. They invested in attacking you. That's what the fucking investment was. The magician in the reverse, the king of cups reverse, and the queen of wands reverse. These two imbeciles are now under judgment along with this hierophant in the reverse. The Hierophant Reverse, King of Cups Reverse could actually be the same person. <clears throat> yeah, because you're free. You were supposed to be trapped. You were supposed to be bonded. But you're free. You got out. Somebody here could have also been trying to attach an entity to you. That did not work. I also feel like whatever entities or whatever spirits um, somebody here is working with, they're not doing it for them no more. They're not doing a the job. They're not working with them no more. Yeah, somebody here failed. Ace of Wands in the Reverse. Somebody here has definitely failed. Somebody here is a poor leader. They feel somebody here could be feeling suicidal or they're about to be. Somebody here could also have been sending you some sort of subliminals. Somebody here could have been doing dream magic on y'all, trying to send you subliminals in order for you to take yourself out. But now this shit is reversing. So now somebody here could be having suicidal thoughts. I feel like this Queen of Wands in reverse definitely having suicidal thoughts or she's about to be. Um, she's already mentally ill to begin with because all of this was due to jealousy in the first place. So that just lets me know that there's some sort of chemical balance there to begin with. Um, whoever this emperor in the reverse is, this person is a poor leader. This person is a sore loser. This person is pissed off because you're not paying them no mind. So somebody here that's attacking you is mad because you're not paying them any attention. So you're not fighting back. You're not retaliating. You're not getting angry. Your energy is not shifting. You're not changing. You still have this tranquility. You still have this internal peace about you. I feel like this person is, is furious about this. This is somebody that's doing shit and then trying to check your temperature to see if they've gotten under your skin and they just haven't. So now they pissed off. Somebody here was waiting to receive and, and they're not getting it. Somebody here has been waiting a long time to receive something and now they realize that they're not getting it. Somebody here feels like this was just wishful thinking. Somebody here feels like they was under some sort of illusion. Somebody here feels like something was an illusion that they was going to receive something. They feel like they never was. Yeah, somebody here has gotten a letter or they've gotten a message here. And, and now they could be praying about something. Because they feel like they're going to be facing poverty. Somebody here really feel like they're going to be facing poverty, y'all. They really do. They really feel like they're about to be facing poverty. And I feel like whoever this is, they didn't see this shit coming. Like somebody here did not see this shit coming. Somebody here could, could also be wanting you to face some sort of poverty collective but that's not the case you very happy 
And I feel like that's another reason why somebody's upset. They're jealous of your peace because you're happy with whatever it is that you have. Even if you don't have a lot at this time, I feel like that's about to change. There's some sort of major abundance and major shift here in your prosperity, your fortune. Uh, congratulations in advance. But I feel like whoever you are, you may not have too much right now. But you make do and you're very grateful and you're very, yeah, you're very grateful. You're very appreciative of what you have now. And it's like, of course, you being in that energy is opening you up to receiving more. But I feel like you are in this beautiful energy and you're comfortable. And it's like these people are, are envious of your comfortability. They, they're envious of your inner peace, even though you don't have much. So these are people that put a lot of um, meaning on material wealth and harvest, but you don't. Um, you know it's important to have, but you don't make that the center of your universe. And I feel like these people are jealous of that peace that you have. Like, what are you so happy about? What are you so peaceful about? Why are you not stressed? Why are you moving on? Why are you moving through life not stressed about finances or not stressed about <clears throat> your bills and shit? Like these people are watching you and they was plotting on you, but now they missed out. They not they not gonna be able to do shit. Ace of Cups in the reverse, ace of wands in the reverse. Yeah, somebody here feels like a loser. This thief is now feeling like a loser. They feeling like they didn't get much. Somebody here could also be realizing that you don't have much. Somebody here could have been under an illusion that you had a lot, but they realizing that you don't. So now they even more confused. Somebody here could have told somebody that you was balling, but maybe you don't even have much. Maybe you just look like you balling or you just happy. Like somebody here thought that you were so happy and so comfortable. So they thought there was an overflow, but they could be realizing that there's not. And somebody here could also be feeling like, well, maybe that's what you manifesting. So now they just waiting to see if something changes. So somebody here could have access to somebody's account or somebody here could have tried to gain access to someone's account. I'm, I'm hearing that somebody here could have been trying to hack someone's uh, Wi-Fi or somebody, somebody's phone. So something significant about an IP address. This could also be what's um, getting this person caught up because these people are actually under investigation. Somebody here may not be aware of the, of the fact that they're under investigation, but they are, especially with the King of Swords and the Chariot. So whoever this person is, I feel like something about an IP address has linked them to, that's what helped these investigators in some way. Um, some of you need to get some sort of spyware or protection on your um, technology, on your um, on your on your devices, your phone, your laptop, your computer, whatever. Because somebody here is trying to hack into something through Wi-Fi or through an IP address. Yeah, we have the Empress in the reverse. This could have been her idea, um, but there's definitely somebody here that's watching an Empress in the reverse. They're very confused. You, you under investigation collective, but these people are also under investigation. <clears throat> yeah, somebody here is putting the pieces together about something. There's also a king of wands here that's putting the pieces together about something. This person could be a fire sign. They could be an Aries Leo Sag, or they could have that in a chart. This person could be feeling like they did something too impulsively. They didn't um, read the fine print or they didn't take their time before they did something. Somebody here feel like they act too quickly on something. This person now feels like they fell on their face. This person could be fighting with an empress in a reverse here. Yeah, they feel like they got tricked here. This person could have gotten into a connection with someone that promised them that they was going to be able to steal something from you and they can't. Or somebody here promised that they was about to like blow up or for you. Like somebody here really thought that they was about to make it big. I don't know what this is with this money, but somebody, this could have even been like an insurance policy. Take it as it resonates. But somebody here thought they was about to hit the jackpot by you not being here. And now somebody here feels defeated. They they feel like they have to walk away, but they walking away as a sore loser. You know what I'm saying? Like with the eight of cups here and the world card, with it showing up in this position, it's like somebody here don't want this cycle to close out. And they're walking away as a sore loser. Like somebody here is definitely in some sore loser ass energy. Like somebody here just feels like a loser. And I would say that they are. They are a loser. Like you a loser for even doing this shit. Yeah, somebody here is stressed out. Like they walking away stressed out because they don't have nothing. They did not get anything. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm telling you, somebody here thought they was getting money. They thought they was going to get money. They thought they was about to hit something. Some of y'all, you could have even switched something. Y'all could have even changed something. That was like one of the smartest things for you to do. Like if you have an account with a lot of money, you could have um, did something like off the grid or, you know, whatever you may have did. But whatever you did was smart because it's, it's not there no more. Maybe somebody saw something, then they checked again 
and it's not there anymore. It could have been like, boom, you got like, I don't know, 80K, 90K somewhere. Somebody saw that shit. They plotted, and then now they went back to look, and it's like 3,000 left in there. They're like, yo, what happened to the 85, the 90? What, where, where are the rest of the money at? It's like 3K in there now, $300, $200. Like, somebody here don't understand. <laughs> you 10 steps ahead of these niggas. That's what's going on. Yeah, so we got the Nine of Swords here and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. <clears throat> so now somebody's stressed out. This Nine of Swords be killing me. Like, look how this Nine of Swords look, y'all. I love this deck. I haven't used this deck in a while. This is the Opposition's deck, in case anybody wanted to know. But the imagery on this shit is so fire to me. It's so fire. <laughs> but look at this Nine of Swords, y'all. Somebody here is stressed out, walking away, walking away in the rain, not wanting the cycle to go out, Very not, not wanting the cycle to close out, very confused, feeling like a loser. It's like walking away, but not wanting to. Something Knowing that something has come to an end, but not wanting it to come to an end. Yeah, the collective, whoever you are, you getting justice in this situation. Big Libra energy here with the justice and the upright. You did pop out as the um uh the queen of pentacles. So some of you could be earth signs, or you could be a Libra, or you could have earth or Libra in your chart for some of you. But with the queen of pentacles and the justice, you receiving justice in the situation, plain and simple. And somebody here knows that they have to walk away from something, and they're just very confused. But this is karma. This is karma. This is karma for bothering somebody that's a hermit, somebody that's introverted, or somebody that be minding their business. This is karma. Why the fuck do you think you're about to make somebody um, your target? Or why the fuck do you feel like somebody was an easy target? You was about to make somebody your victim. This is exactly what the fuck you get. God don't like ugly. You reap what the fuck you sow. Yeah, these people are under judgment now because you're strong. Somebody here could be seeing that you're strong. Yeah, strength card and the Ten of Cups. There could also be something significant about some sort of protection in your home or your home is very protected. You may also have ancestors that are like around you at all times. You have guides that are around you at all times. But it's like you have some sort of peace and you have some sort of um, power, some sort of stability, some sort of protection here. Peace, stability, power, protection. That's what my guides are telling me. Somebody here could have watched you heal. They watched you come back. I'm hearing they watch you come back to life. They watch you gain your vitality, your strength, and your energy back. So now somebody just feels like something is not working. There's something else going on here, too, where these people were sending you energy, right? And you could have been feeling low. And it's like you um, you pump up within, like, a couple minutes. Like, somebody had never seen this before. They trying to figure out who, who exactly are you. Like, somebody here want to know who the fuck are you because they feel like that's supernatural to another extent like they feel like this is like some paranormal supernatural shit happening because somebody here literally like watched you um like rejuvenate like they watched you come back to life in some sort of way <laughs> that's how these people feel like somebody here feel like they watched you come back to life yeah and somebody here also watched you free yourself like, it, it could have looked like they was going to have some sort of victory. Somebody here was definitely laughing in the beginning. They found this shit funny. They was excited. They they, did, they just knew for a fact that they had you. And then it's like, when they turned around, you was gone. Like, literally, it's given that. Like, when, you turn, when they turned around, you was alive again. You was breathing again. Or you was gone. Or your energy was back. Your energy was back in its natural state. You was back in your vessel or something like that. So some of y'all could have been traveling. You could have been fighting in the astral realm all about the, these fucking people here. And somebody here just thought that they had you. They really did. Somebody here feel like you slipped out of their hands. You slipped out of their grip. I'm telling you, it's like somebody here looked back and it was like, damn, the collective is gone. This person is too strong. Like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, it's really giving you played possum. Some of y'all definitely played possum. Yeah, somebody here thought that you died. Or they could have literally watched you die spiritually. Like, somebody here cannot believe this shit. It's like you raised up from the dead. Like, that's how somebody feel. Like, you, it's on some resurrection type shit. And they feel like they missed something. Now they're not getting anything. You the one that has the victory. You the one that's getting the justice in the situation. Somebody here could also be going through a breakup or a divorce. Or this is just somebody realizing that they're not getting their wish fulfillment. Yeah, they're angry. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, four of Wands in the reverse. Somebody here was so gun ho on receiving something or binding you, trapping you, taking you out in some way. 
you know, just draining you financially, energetically, like, and this shit just did not work. And it, it's like God allowed somebody to feel like they had you, like you was, you was this close and you just slipped away. Somebody here don't understand what's going on. Yes, they can't believe this shit. Somebody here could be a Pisces or an Aquarius or they could have that in their chart. Yeah, strong Aquarius, strong Pisces energy here. Yeah. Okay. But I'm telling you, somebody here feel foolish now. I told you somebody here felt like they did something too quick. I said that earlier. This person, it's like they stuck now. Yes, they stuck and they mad. Chariot in the reverse, page of wands reverse. Somebody here stuck and they mad. They just don't understand. And it's like, baby, you need what you need to understand is that this is somebody that's anointed, clearly. None of this will be playing out the way that it is if this person was not anointed. Somebody here could be doing something at night. <laughs> Okay, somebody here is trying to send you a text at night. Somebody here may work with a familiar spirit. Somebody here could be working with a dog or something like that. Or a wolf. Somebody here has the, has the spirit animal of the wolf that's attacking you. But whoever this person is, it's like they just piss. They, they feel like they hung themselves. Like they don't know what to do now. Yeah. Whoever you are, you have protection from the underworld too. That's where they fucked up at. <clears throat> so somebody here, they don't, they didn't know that it was possible to have uh, protection from the light and from the dark. Like somebody here don't feel like that's possible. Like they never heard of that or they never witnessed that. Like somebody here never witnessed somebody having protection from both sides. You have confirmation. It's like you literally have protection from the underworld as well. Somebody here is like, what? Like, who the fuck? Like, who the fuck is this? So somebody here really trying to figure out who the fuck you are. Somebody here know you at peace. Like, literally. Like, you be sleeping good. You be, you be at peace. Somebody here literally could be watching you sleep, too. Like, somebody here literally could be um monitoring you as you sleep. But like, this person is pissed off. It's like you get, you get shielded. You get wrapped around some shit. That's, it's like something wraps around you as a protection, as a barrier. And it's like you just be sleeping peacefully. Like somebody here is like, they looking like, what the fuck? Like they never seen nothing like this. Yeah, we got the King of Pentacles here and the Two of Cups. So some of you could be in a partnership. Somebody here could also be mad because they know you don't sleep alone anymore or some shit like that. That's for some of y'all. <laughs> okay. But we got the King of Pentacles here and the Two of Cups. Y'all could be dealing with an earth sign, possibly a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn or somebody with strong earth in a chart. But there's an equal give and take partnership between you collective, you and this King of Pentacles. So there is some sort of courtship that's happening. It's just not a courtship with somebody that wants to steal from you. It's a courtship from somebody that got their own that's actually genuine. <laughs> I feel like this person wants to have a family with you or you're going to end up having a baby with this person. Some of you, there's a spirit baby that needs to be born, possibly a male child. I'm hearing a son. <clears throat> you you may not know if you really want to follow through with this for some of you, but as far as the baby is concerned. But I feel like this partnership, this connection is growing, it's coming together beautifully. <clears throat> Somebody here is hating on y'all and sending y'all the evil eye, but it doesn't matter because the love is still coming together. They still choosing you. You still choosing them. But the love is here. There's a choice being made on both ends to still give in to this, to still be with each other. Like y'all still going to be with each other, period. Um, Give me something on this King of Pentacles and the lovers. Somebody here could be an earth sign or somebody here could be a Gemini. Yeah, you two going to be building a home together, building a family. We have the Ten of Cups here twice in both decks. Some of you could also be traveling or moving, buying a home together. I feel like this is the best thing for you to do, too, to avoid some sort of toxicity that could be um, in close proximity of you. That's what some of you. All right, let's see. King of Pentacles and the Lovers. Yeah, this person is holding on to you. This person could be also, they could also have something that they want to give you, okay? So there's, there's a king of pentacles that could be holding on to something that they want to give you. <clears throat> and I feel like somebody here is stressed out because they know you about to get this. There's a king of pentacles that's holding on to something that belongs to you. Or they, they know that somebody's going to come in and give you something. And now somebody here is stressed out about this. 
Yeah, nine of swords here. Somebody here is stressed the fuck out. There's an emperor in the reverse that feels stuck. There could be an emperor in the reverse that's also nervous that they're going to be going to jail for some reason. This could be somebody that's going to spiritual jail. or this shit could be manifested in a 3D. Take it as it resonates. Give me something on this emperor reverse. Yeah, this person feels like you moving on. They feel like you got your power back. This is somebody that also thought that they could bind you and keep you trapped, keep you stuck in your head or keep you heartbroken about a specific person that they felt like you wanted. So it was some sort of heartbreak that was supposed to occur that was supposed to also weaken you and put you in bad health. Whoever you are, you 10 toes, man. Queen of Swords, you 10 toes. You like, fuck out of here. Heartbroken about what? Heartbroken, heartbroken about who? Heartbroken about what and about who? The fuck out of here. You could be a, um, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. You showing up as the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles in this message. So some of y'all are air signs. Some of y'all could be earth signs. Or like I said, you could have ear or earth in your chart. Somebody here definitely want to come towards you and manipulate you. Okay, it's a king of cups in the reverse. Somebody here is plotting on what they're going to say to you. Somebody here is fighting with the people that they worked with to go against you. So this king of cups in the reverse, I'm hearing that this person has a lot of drama, a lot of conflict surrounding them at this time. They're fighting and arguing with the people that they collaborated with to go against you. They feel stuck. Chariot in the reverse. Somebody has a water sign. Somebody could definitely be a Cancer. They could have Cancer in their chart. Somebody here can have Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces in their chart. Somebody here is mad. Somebody here trying to keep you stuck here from moving forward. Somebody here is trying to keep you from moving forward in a situation, but it's not working. <clears throat> Somebody here knows that you don't care. That's another thing that's irritating somebody here in this situation because they know that you know what they're doing and they just feel like you don't care, like you ignoring them. Somebody here hates this shit. They hate that you're not giving them attention. They hate that you're not feeding them energy. By you just moving forward and not paying this shit any attention, it's also weakening what they're doing. Like somebody here needs you to pay attention. Somebody here needs your fear. They need your attention. And they need you to feed this shit energy what they're doing, but you're not. These people are under judgment and getting karma. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse came out twice. Ace of Cups in the reverse came out twice. Whoever you are, Queen of Swords, you got clarity about this situation. The Sun card. I feel like you're very happy too. You're independent. You're free. You're not binded to a toxic situation. You're not binded to a karmic contract here. Somebody here wanted to bind you to a karmic contract. Yeah, it's not going down. The World card. The cycle closed out. The cycle closed out. And now somebody mad. They like, hmm. Somebody looking at y'all like, hmm. oh, so you think you somebody, huh? You think you somebody? Yeah, they watching you and they mad. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Temperance in the reverse. This couple, this man and this woman that we keep picking up on, they watching you and they just like, hmm. So you think you strong? You think you're a high priestess? You think it's time for you to celebrate? You think you happy? You think you, you think you're celebrating? You think you're at peace? You think you've outsmarted us? <laughs> These people are facing poverty and they know it. These people are left out in the cold when it comes to your energy as well. Somebody here cannot penetrate your energetic field and they upset. Somebody here wanted to contaminate or pollute your energetic field, your aura. Somebody here was looking for holes in your aura and you have none. You've completely healed. So at some point, maybe you did have some sort of holes in your aura. And these people were able to um, send an entity your way or manipulate your energy in some way but you no longer have holes in your aura is what i'm hearing and this queen of wands in the reverse is upset somebody here in their feelings and it's like somebody here could be telling somebody that they got something or it's like hey like you know i got this for you or it's like i don't want that like they want what you have somebody wants what you have and because they're ungrateful, they're about to lose everything. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, Reverse, and the Five of Pentacles. Somebody here is about to lose what they have because they're not grateful for it. They're too busy focused on what you have. This is just greed and jealousy here. Yep. Somebody here is sending you the evil eye and they mad. Somebody here could have also wanted the King of Wands to go against you. But this person has a change of heart now. And this person could have stopped attacking you. Or this person stopped talking about you. They stopped gossiping about you. This person doesn't have any ill feelings towards you. So somebody here could have been trying to manipulate. Somebody here was manipulating the King of Wands to attack you or to say hurtful, nasty things about you. Judgment got called in this situation. And now this trickster is heartbroken. These trickster spirits are heartbroken. Somebody here feels like you have a higher level of commitment that could be coming in 
or you have some sort of stability that's coming in really fast for you. However, front to the Eight of Wands to the Justice. It's, it's something here where you're getting justice and you're getting it fast, or this could have already happened. Yeah, somebody here is making a decision to make sure that you receive justice in a situation. Yeah, and that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Some of you, like I said, um, there's something going on with a peaceful home environment as well. Somebody here could be upset because somebody is sick. They feel like this person is pa going to pass away. Or somebody here is passing away if they keep playing because you're too protected. With the Tower and the Four of Swords, it's like somebody here is going to pass away in order for you to move forward. There could be some sort of delay here with somebody traveling or somebody plans because this needs to happen first in order for you to, in order for spirit to allow you to move forward and travel or go somewhere else. It's like this situation has to be taken care of first because somebody's plan is to follow you anyway. It's something here going on like that. So this person, this energy, this group, whatever this is, this shit needs to be taken care of first before spirit can guide you and allow you to make the moves that you need to make. So it's like they're getting rid of the evil that's ahead of you. Um, so it's like some sort of delay here with your travel or your forward movement. But it's, it's for great reason. Like if God is making you wait, understand that it's for great reason. So if there's some sort of delay in your plans or something like that, don't force it. Because it's some sort of evil that needs to be taken care of ahead of you. So that you could be good. It's something here that's that's there before you get there. That needs to be taken care of. <clears throat> okay. So that is what I'm seeing right now. So that's being taken care of. And this cycle has closed out. These people are just mad. Let them be mad. Let them stay mad. Collective, don't get tricked out of your spot by retaliating or reacting. Um, you know, don't react. Don't retaliate. <clears throat> These people have already dug a hole for, the, for themselves and they know it. Don't pay this shit no mind. Just keep moving forward. Yeah, the way others view you is none of your business. Somebody here is just mad because you know who you are. <clears throat> Somebody here knows that you're a messenger and you be speaking that real. You are a messenger. Speak your truth. And don't focus on what people are saying about you. Or don't focus on how people feel about you. Who cares? Those that matter don't mind. And those that mind don't matter. Okay? <clears throat> you always have a choice yeah you choosing happiness and you choosing to close out a cycle that's the truth somebody here didn't want you to feel like you had a choice in a situation okay but you choosing peace you choosing happiness you choosing abundance you choosing the light you choosing to close out a toxic cycle and that's the truth there could be a karmic aries here that's feeling very restless right now due to the fact that you've had some sort of rebirth, some sort of transformation. Okay. This karmic Aries is pissed off. This person doesn't want to go through a towel moment. This person cannot believe that this shit is working out in your favor. Somebody here could be an Aries or an Aquarius. We have the card of Aries here in the reverse. And we have the star in the reverse, which is also Aquarius energy here. Whoever you are, you could be a Libra that's going through this beautiful transformation. Somebody here can't believe that you're going to be with a real twin or a real soulmate, a real counterpart. So whoever this Aquarius or this Aries is, this person could have been a false twin, a false soulmate for some of y'all. Um, this person was just meant to teach you a lesson of self-love. But we have mirror effect and the Ace of Cups. I feel like you're mirroring your true divine counterpart. <clears throat> or there's somebody that has come in that you're with now that you've mirrored and you and this person are growing together. Yeah, and there's a karmic Leo and a karmic Pisces that could also be upset because of the truth you speak. Somebody here is upset because you're a high priestess and you've put the pieces together. You know what's going on. You could also be a Virgo or you could have strong Virgo in your chart. So some of you could be a Pisces, a Virgo, or a Libra, or you could have that in your chart. <clears throat> yeah, it's time. It's a time of celebration, good news, victory, success, six of wands. You're receiving in a major way. The Six of Wands came out three times, y'all. Each deck item pulled from the Six of Wands came out in the upright. Whoever you are, you're healing. You you have healed and you're continuing to heal. You stay in focus. You're remembering why you started. Okay? And you're being rewarded for your resilience. You're being rewarded for your strength, your courage, your bravery, the will of fortune in the upright. 
something significant about October. Somebody here could be born in October. Somebody here could be born in February. <clears throat> Somebody here could be born in September. Okay, but everything is working out in your favor, collective. Trust the process. Somebody here could have a Sagittarius rising. Somebody here could also have a Sagittarius north node. Yep, somebody here could also have a Libra rising or a Libra north node. You receiving justice in this situation, period. How many times is the justice going to come out? You receiving justice in this situation. The justice done came out so many times for you, high priestess. Big Libra energy here with the justice. Okay. And somebody here that's a karmic Scorpio could be upset. This person could be trying to attack you as well. You could be finding out that a Sagittarius or a Scorpio here tries to sacrifice you or they was in on it. This could be somebody that you know, so it could be very triggering for you to get that sort of truth, okay? Not sort of truth, but for you to discover that truth could be um, really like upsetting some of you guys to know that this Sagittarius or this Scorpio that you personally know was involved in it. Some of y'all could be like really upset about that. Or that could be something that has already happened. You could be receiving downloads about that specific person. You're going to get some sort of confirmation about that person. All right, collective. Yeah, communication. So you have communication. That's important during this time. Some of you could be born on the 18th of a month. But it says accuracy, expression, intimacy, and honesty. I feel like this is the energy that you're in. Again, with you being a truth speaker, you speaking your truth. You standing on business, saying what you mean, meaning what you say. I feel like everything that you express is accurate. I feel like you also have some sort of communication coming in from your actual counterpart. You guys are going to be uh, very honest with each other. It's going to be a very intimate moment, an uh, intimate moment of honest expression. Okay. But meaning what you say and saying what you mean communicating with intent is very important somebody here could be 37 years old somebody here could have also been born in, in 73 somebody here could be a life path nine some of you are seeing 999 nine, nine. we have 1837 that's 99 somebody here could have also been born in 99 all right but you meeting members of your soul tribe some of you could also be coming across a lot of feathers at this time again your ancestors have been sending you messages they want you to know that they're always near Somebody here could also be seeing something significant about spider webs, but messages, reunion, connection, and validation, okay? So you reuniting with um, somebody that you have a past life soul contract with. Whoever this person is that you're mirroring, that you're destined to be with, this is somebody that you reuniting with on a soul level. For some of you, this is the first time you're meeting them in this lifetime in the flesh, but your soul recognizes one another. This connection is actually going to move forward fast. It's going to take off really fast. Um, this person, it's like you don't need validation from anybody, but they validate you and vice versa. It's a strong, powerful connection that's coming together. Um, be the real you. Yeah, you could be yourself in this situation. This person feel like they can be themselves. Some of you could be a life path six. Somebody who could be born on the 15th of a month. But it says freedom, authenticity, uniqueness, and courage. This person loves you just the way you are. They love you for who you are. I'm hearing that song by um, Bruno Mars, Just the Way You Are. Okay, this person loves you just the way you are. Um, something about you meeting this person while you in your natural state as well. And some of you could be meeting this. Some of you could have met this person or you are meeting this person. Um, when you just like, maybe you're not all dogged up or you didn't do anything extra, or maybe you just, you got on like some regular ass shit or something. It's something here about you being in your natural state, in your natural form, in a physical and, you know, energetically, like you just being you, you just being the real you. And then you also just in this natural state, this person really loves you for you. <clears throat> Somebody here could be 30 years old. Yeah, but I told you, you was in this energy of gratitude. It says gratitude, assistance, guidance, and understanding. You have clear understanding and you have strong faith that you're being guided and assisted during this time. 
You know that you're being guided. You know that you're being assisted. And you have a strong gratitude, okay? You're very grateful. You have a big heart. And this is what's opening you up to these blessings. This is what has opened you up to this beautiful connection that you're in or that you're forming with someone. And this is what's also opening you up to this abundance, this wealth, this prosperity that you're receiving. <laughs> Yeah, and you have Archangel Haniel that's here, okay? God is psychic, sacred, and proud. So some of you are psychic. You have psychic abilities. Again, it did say that you was a messenger and you speak in the truth. And you did show up as the high priestess as well. The high priestess is one who knows. Collective, you definitely give me the energy of a seer. The high priestess and a hermit. And your person is showing up as a hierophant. So they may also be a high priest. They could be um, a leader. They may also be psychic and have abilities here too. But you showing up as a goddess, somebody that's psychic, somebody that's sacred, and somebody that's proud. And the way others view you is none of your business came out. So it's like you don't care if people are judging you for being a high priestess. <clears throat> people don't have to understand your gifts, so they don't have to understand your calling. It's not for them to understand. It wasn't a conference call. It was a call between you and spirit. It wasn't a call between you and them. It wasn't a group chat. It wasn't a fucking conference call. Yeah, open your heart to love, okay? And you understand the power of prayer, okay? Some of you could be 27 years old. Somebody here could be 40 years old. Somebody here could be a life path for. Some of you could have been born on the 4th of a month. Somebody here could be born on the 27th or the 9th of a month. <clears throat> but we got 999 nine, nine here. I told you 9 is very significant. We got, yeah, we got 999 nine, nine here. We also have 1010. 10. Some of y'all could be seeing those numbers. But the power of prayer, it says surrender, believe, affirm, release. Your prayers are definitely powerful. Open your heart to love, okay? Allow love to come in. It's okay to be vulnerable, collective. I feel like you're going on some sort of spiritual adventure with this person, too. So some of you could be going on a retreat with this person, all right? I also feel like your guides are guiding you to a specific location, Okay, whatever that may mean, that could be for a permanent relocation or that could just be for some sort of um, spiritual um, retreat. I'm getting a spirit. There's a certain location that you're being guided to for either permanent relocation or for a spiritual retreat. <clears throat> Let's get some angel numbers for you guys and then I'm going to let you go. Angel numbers for the collective, please and thank you. 369, damn, she fine. Okay, 369, compassion. Okay, show compassion. All right, be compassionate with self and others. I told you some of y'all be seeing 1010. Didn't I just say? I just said that. Some of y'all been seeing 1010. Okay, your faith is unwavering. All right, something here is complete here. Have faith. Have faith in knowing that you are heavily protected as well. You are protected at all times. 444. Four, four. Some of you could also be seeing angel number 444. Four, four. All right. And some of you could also be seeing 213, 321. You could be seeing 2134. But you have some sort of achievements. Okay. You are achieving a lot. Okay. I feel like you're checking a lot off your to do list, your goals, short term and long term. All right, it says 369, your angels are swooping in to send you this loving message. You are needed and your gifts are priceless, okay? You are a light worker. It says this number is a reminder of your role as a light worker. So whoever you are collective, you are high priestess, you are hermitess, you are prophetess, you are healer, and you are light worker. It says use your natural talents to create beauty, to encourage compassion. It says make kindness a natural part of your daily life. Love unconditionally with your whole heart, okay? You have empathic and psychic gifts. Acknowledge and use your talents. I feel like for many of you that resonate with this message today, you do acknowledge and use your talents, okay? Your affirmation with this card says, I am meant to live a magical life, okay? Collective, you are meant to live a magical life. And I feel like you're doing just that. And ain't nobody stopping you. We got 1010 faith. It says support is always there for you from your loved ones and from the very universe itself. When you feel overwhelmed and mad and negativity, this number may make its way to you. 
Let this gentle reminder sink in. You have the tools you need to see it through. Your comfort zone will always be there when you need it, but you should step outside it more often. Growth requires movement and bravery. Remember, you are safe and supported. Yes, and then protection came out right behind that. So your guides are communicating to you that you are safe, you are supported, you are fully protected, fully supported, fully protected, and safe at all times. This says you are overcoming fears and you're trying new things, confidence, bravery, and trust. Remember your ability to keep going. Step outside your comfort zone. So 369 and 1010 both speak of you stepping outside your comfort zone. I feel like you stepping outside your comfort zone when it comes to you being vulnerable with this person. And I also feel like you stepping outside your comfort zone when it comes to you going to this new location. Okay. Your affirmation says, I choose courage over fear and peace over perfection. I choose courage over fear and peace over protection. I mean... Wait, hold on. I choose coverage over fear and peace over perfection. Okay, over perfection. All right, you have your protection though. It says, wow, hard work and an abundance mindset looks so amazing on you. You've really been putting in the effort, laying hard work down. You are growing amazing. Yeah, this, this one always has typos. Every time I pull 444, I'm like, this shit got typos. But it's saying that you're growing, okay? Growth and abundance, okay? It says the universe loves someone who vibrates at the frequency of gratitude. So, like, literally all your cards are saying that you have gratitude, okay? Point of view is spoke of gratitude. I told you earlier in a message that you have this grateful heart you express in this gratitude. And now this card also says that the universe loves someone who vibrates at the frequency of gratitude. So you got multiple messages here that are saying that you're being rewarded for being so grateful, okay? It says clap for yourself, pat yourself on the back. You are on the right path to manifest your desires through hard work and intentionality. Yes, you're doing everything with intention. Your prayers, your manifestations are being heard. It says your angels are watching over you, protecting you in your dreams. It says protection, capability, and determination. Hard work yields an amazing rewards. This is reassurance that you are loved and supported, and it's time for you to celebrate your wins. Your affirmation says, a river of abundance flows through me. A river of abundance flows through me. A river of abundance flows through me. Yes, collective, a river of abundance flows through you. Achievement, 2134. Hold up, take a second right now to appreciate all your efforts this far. You pour your entire self into your passions and it's commendable, okay? You need to give, this says still, sometimes you need to remember to give yourself a pat on the back. This is a sign that all the work you put in will reap amazing rewards and bring a lovely sense of fulfillment. Just remember to practice gratitude and celebrate your talents along the way. So again, another message of gratitude. Your um, upright position says this is intelligence and talent achievements and positive results, finding harmony in the process and balance, okay? So balance, harmony, positive results, intelligence, and talent. Your affirmation says, an attitude of gratitude brings me closer to my desires. An attitude of gratitude brings me closer to my desires. So it's safe to say that a lot of the energy surrounding today's message for you um, is about gratitude, okay? It's helping you attract, it's helping you manifest. So remain grateful, remain hopeful, remain faithful. Uh, keep praying, don't ever stop praying. Even when you get what you want, still pray. Pray in times of need and pray just to say thank you. You know, you need to be praying at all times. But collective, this message was very beautiful as far as your energy and you moving forward. Um, the bullshit that you needed to know, we definitely got that out of the way. Um, can't nothing be taken from you, baby. And I feel like that's been made very clear. These people could be mad or they want. That's their business. All right, collective. I love you guys. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Peace.